I've been using Sprout Social for three months to schedule social media posts, engage with followers, and track my online growth. And today I'm excited to share my honest review with you. I'll walk you through some of the features I've absolutely fallen in love with, and some that I think could use just a little bit more improvement. Let's go. Hey friends, welcome back. Joe Zeppelin here. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by Sprout Social. This tool just generally saves me about two hours a week and I think it can really help you out. All I ask in return is that you hit that like button and consider hitting that subscribe button if you like to stay up to date on all things AI, business, and tech. It really helps us make more videos like this one in the future. Now let's get to it. Sprout Social markets itself as the best all-in-one social media management platform online. Imagine being able to post all your different social media content from one primetime location. Here's all the different social media accounts you can connect to Sprout Social. Plus, you can schedule these posts for a future date and time, something we're gonna be talking about really soon. Signing up for Sprout Social is really easy. There's no credit card required. Simply just go ahead and select this try for free button right here. Then just go ahead and add your email address and you're ready to go. Now on this pop-up here, you're gonna be able to add all your different social media accounts. Now this can be kind of complicated depending on the post scheduler you choose to use. On Sprout Social, I found this really easy. Simply just go ahead and select Facebook, add your account information, select your account, and now your account is connected. You can do the same thing here by selecting Instagram and selecting your account. And what's really cool with some of these platforms, it's actually gonna ask what type of information do you wanna share? So let's go ahead and select a couple of these and connect. Now something to note is you're not able to connect every form of social media. You only can connect specific account types. For instance, on Facebook, it has to be a Facebook page. On TikTok or Instagram, it has to be a business account or creator's account. Now this change is all easy to make to transfer your standard account to a business or creator's account. You can do this in the settings. Here's a quick video on how to do this on both platforms, but that is something important to note if you're trying to connect these accounts and having some trouble. Once your accounts are added, you're actually gonna be able to go in and schedule a social media post. So to do this, go ahead and click publish on the far left corner. So here you're gonna be able to see all your different scheduled social media content. And you can view this in a monthly view, a weekly view, or just a detailed list view. Now you'll see we don't have any social media posts scheduled yet, so this is gonna show up blank. So let's go ahead and just select this monthly for now and schedule our first social media post. Go ahead and click this post button in the upper right corner. Here, you're gonna be able to select all the different social media accounts you wanna post on. So let's go ahead here and select Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Now today we want to schedule a short vertical video on all these different social media platforms, but you do have the option to add these as stories as well, but we're going to connect a video right here. So first let's go ahead and add our caption. So let's do, we posted 100 videos in 100 days and here's what happened. Now one feature I really like about Sprout Social is its ability to recommend the best hashtags. For instance, this is about social media, so I'm just gonna put in social, and then if you scroll down, it actually recommends the most popular types of hashtags. So it looks like social media manager and social media marketing are also very popular. So let's go ahead and add these. Now right underneath that, we're gonna be able to upload the video we wanna show. So let's go ahead and select the video here. And one feature that's really cool that you're not able to do on all post schedulers is choose your thumbnail. So you can either go through and upload your own thumbnail or one feature that I really like is you can choose a thumbnail from a timestamp in the video. So let's go ahead and find one here. And then you can see on the right side a preview of what this is going to look like on all your different connected social media accounts. Now, my favorite feature on Sprout Social is the AI Assist. This really helps me craft my posts to be much more concise and also have the best keywords to make it show up on someone's screen. So to do this, let's go ahead and just take our current social media posts and paste it in here. And then we can choose Instagram, for instance, and Sprout Social is gonna recommend the best words to use to schedule your posts on Instagram. So let's go ahead and copy this and drop it in here. Now you're gonna be able to select all the different options you would have been able to select if you were posting on that specific platform. For instance, on Facebook, we choose if we wanna make this a standard post or a reel. So let's go ahead and select a reel. On Instagram, you can add the first comment. So some Something I like to do is recommend that they go check out a longer video about the topic that I'm discussing in this short. Then you can do the same thing for YouTube. So YouTube recommends some tags, a title, if you want this to be private or public, and what type of category it falls into. On TikTok, you can go ahead and allow comments, duet and stitch. I always recommend turning off duet and stitch. It kind of enables people to steal some of your content and reuse it. So if you turn these off and only allow comments, 
then you can ensure that you're the only person posting the video that you're sharing essentially. And then my favorite part here is you can actually go in and schedule a future date. So let's do June 1st at 6.30 a.m. Now, arguably one of the best features on Sprout Social is it actually recommends the best time to post your social media posts based on the platforms you just selected. Let's go ahead and select 11.05 and schedule this post. Awesome, so now you're gonna see that this post is scheduled and on June 1st, it's automatically gonna get sent out to all those different social media platforms. Now, the single feature that has enabled me to grow my online presence the quickest is the Smart Inbox tool here you're going to be able to respond to all your comments and dms from one prime time location you can go ahead and select up here the social media accounts you want to respond to and you can even select the type of messages you choose to respond to so let's go ahead and scroll down here and respond to this message here we can even scroll down and respond to the second one and just like that, your response is sent to that social media platform. Now, of course, if you're going into all this effort, you really want to know if what you're doing is working. And that's why I really like Sprout Social's reporting tab. So here you can go ahead and select the social media account you want to look at. So let's select YouTube, for instance. And here you're going to be able to see that how to create a digital business card has the most views of any video on our channel. You can even go ahead and change the metric you're looking at. So for instance, if we change the views to subscribers, we can see that this video on Metrical, which is a free post, scheduler is our second most popular video when it comes to subscribers 612 just from that one video now the big downside to sprout social is its pricing it's 200 dollars a month for their standard version which is really expensive i always try to look for a free tool metrical for instance is a completely free post scheduler it's not as user friendly as sprout social which is why i recommend sprout social if you're willing to pay 200 dollars a month but if you're like me and you're not willing to pay 200 dollars a month go ahead and check out metrical it's a completely free tool and you can do essentially all the same things you can do on sprout social if you found this review on sprout social helpful i need your help with three things one like this video if you enjoyed it two consider subscribing if you like to stay up to date on all things ai business and tech and number three go ahead and check out that video on Metricool if you're looking for a free tool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.